Hey y'all, Taker here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a little bit of an impulse pick that I picked up off of Amazon. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> now, looking at the packaging, I don't have a lot of confidence in how, in what condition the figure's in. Uh, usually, usually manufacturers will send the figures in a box for extra protection, but it seems like right here they just, they opted to use a, to just wrap it with a weatherproofing plastic, and that's not good. This means that this <laughs> Unfortunately, I just wonder whether the figure itself is okay because when you do something like this, when you do something like this, like the figure is probably going to be very abused. At least the box. Hopefully, the figure is fine. And let's see what we have here. You only broke one of my heart. This guy. Yeah. Um, this box is absolutely decimated and is not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is not, um, this is not very this is not a very good look now my original fear for this figure was that i was going to get a bootleg instead of a genuine figure especially because this particular prize figure does has a cup have a couple of bootlegs because it's a really popular character being android 18 from dragon ball z um and I can rest easy knowing this is genuine. Uh, you can tell from the foil sticker and the licensing. However, yeah, the, the box itself has seen much, much better days. And prize figures generally don't have too much going on in terms of protection. Um, whoop. So we'll see if she is still intact. So now here we go. Let's just go ahead and open her up. All right. So first, this is a pretty big prize figure. Um, bigger than I anticipated. I saw some pictures online but I wasn't convinced until I actually seen her in the plastic. So here we go. And she looks great actually. Yeah, this is a very, very nice figure. Let's just get her on the post. Overall, this is a fantastic figure from Van Presto. Android 18 is just sculpted with such attention to detail, which I'm not familiar with with prize figures. She's got plenty of detail on her shirt and pants, with the wrinkles that give this effect of shading, even though there's not a ton of shading on this figure. The figure is very dynamic with the hair flowing in the wind, um, her hand pushing her hair back, the way that she is, she has her hand on her knee with her foot ever so slightly arching up and with her flip flops slightly falling where she's arching her foot it has a lot of movement there's a lot of movement in this figure which is a little uncommon for prize figures in this particular price range she 
is just really well done. It's, it really is the quintessential um, Android 18 figure. It's, it's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Definitely a must have for a Dragon Ball Z collection. Now, the issues that I have on it. The biggest one is Ben Presto put their branding on her right leg where her foot is arched. That is, I'm not really a fan of that at all because I feel like it cheapens the figure. Um, even though it, <laughs> technically it is a budget figure, but I still would like the air of a scale figure where the branding isn't anywhere in the viewing angle of whoever's looking at this figure. My second gripe is that there are a couple seam lines in her hair. The first seam line is where her ear is, around where her hair is pushing, her hand is pushing her hair back. And the second one is kind of where they are detailing each strand of her hair. They are very little nitpicks. It's not something that you're gonna see unless you're really close up, but it is still kind of a, it's, it's weird because there's a lot of attention to detail on everything else, but it feels like they kind of phoned in her hair a little bit. Um, because like, if you really look at her face, she even has defined eyebrows. Her eyebrows are defined, they're raised. Um, so it kind of gives her face a lot of, you know, a lot more dimensions. And so just the fact that there's so many seam lines in the hair just seems like, where were their priorities? Which I assume was on the clothing, because the clothing looks fantastic. And finally, the base is really blah. I wish, I feel like they chose this color to simulate her on a beach because this particular um, outfit is when she's living at Kame House, uh, which is a beach island. But I don't know, they could have gone with a black base, honestly, because I feel like it's, its palette is too close to her skin tone. That is the, that, that's kind of like, my personal pet peeve and finally that's that's really all i have to say about it she is still a great figure she she does have a couple of paint issues but that's just the that's just where she has a little she has a few paint issues with her skin and her hair tone and kind of like the colors on the figure. But that's just the, that is just price, prize figures in general. Um, you're not gonna get the same amount of quality that you would see in a official scale figure. So any Dragon Ball Z fan would probably be perfectly happy with this figure. So I give it a eight out of 10, fantastic. It's. I'm excited to add her to my collection. And with that, if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And this has been Taker. This has been Taker's Keep. Have a good one. See ya.